Take me out to California Take me out to California Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about body image. Now obviously this is something that gets addressed a lot, there is a huge big push now, this body positive revolution which I'm properly down for. I want to quickly tell you my body image story. So I grew up on television, I was 11, 12 years old when I started being on television and I had years of makeup artists doing my face, makeup artists correcting perceived flaws on my face. Now what that does to a person and growing up on that platform and, and being seen and, and I guess judged by other people means that those perceived flaws that you are getting corrected on a, on a TV set become things that you think need corrected about yourself. That isn't a dig at, at makeup artists, they're doing their job, that's, you know, they're desensitised to perhaps how you might feel about those areas of you and, and that was just something that happened and I can vividly remember being my first, one of my first days on set walking into the makeup room and all of these beautiful older girls who had been on the show previously, who they'd had a six month break, they'd come back, they would all developed and grown and, and looked gorgeous. And little me at 11, 12 years old with frizzy brown hair, really skinny, big goggle eyes, gappy teeth, no makeup, spots, awkward teenager, um, coming into the room and the first thing the makeup artist said to me was she was saying to everybody else you look amazing you look beautiful oh wow don't you look gorgeous after this break and she looked at me and she went oh you've got bad skin and I wanted the floor to swallow me up I was mortified and then seven years doing TV made me really aware of myself not least just being a teenager and that awkward stage of being a teenager so I grew up with a lot of issues with the way that I looked, a lot of issues. I could have listed you a list about 100 pages long of things that should have been corrected. I grew up in a time of the, the glamour girls, so it was Pamela Anderson, it was Baywatch babes, it was big boobs, it was tiny skinny waists, tiny skinny bodies actually, it was like skinny waist fake boobs, big lips pencil thin eyebrows, blonde hair, tan, and here's me with like no boobs, totally skinny, um, you know, brown hair, thick eyebrows, like the opposite of what the look was at the time, and felt awkward about myself, really badly awkward. I mean, I would cry myself to sleep. I hated the way that I looked. There was nothing that I didn't want to change. I wanted a boob job. I wanted ankle implants, which you probably didn't even know was a thing. It's not a thing but I could have listed a million things. And that was me right up until around the age of about 21, 22, maybe 23. Right now, at 33, I really like the way that I look. There are probably loads of things if I was being a, a picky and being awful to myself that I would change and I would pull out. I, I would rather not have stretch marks on my stomach after having two children, that would be nice. Um, there's probably other ridiculously minute things that I could pull at myself and go, oh, I'd quite like to be that stretched up, that and that bit there and whatever. That made me sound like I was going to put an arm on a head or something there. Not that, that's weird. Um, but of course there's still things, but overall I feel good about myself most of the time. So how did I do that? Because I promise you, I was, and people don't always believe this about me because they see me as a fully confident adult and they don't understand how bad it was. I mean, I would not want to leave the house without a full face of makeup, full nails, full hair, full tan, fully made up. It would take me hours to leave the house. I was really bad. If you speak to my mum, my, mom, my dad, they know how bad I was. I was horrendous. I, I really hated the way I looked. So to get me to the point now where I can go, I think I look really good, is insane kind of transformation. So what did I do? The first thing that I did was I got bored of my own bullshit. I got tired of calling myself names. It became a chore. It became, I was exhausted. There's nothing more depressing than looking at yourself in the mirror and spending hours calling yourself names. So first of all, I got bored. And then I thought, what do I do about this? Now, I've always been into self-development. And so I kind of worked ways myself. And I decided the first thing I would do was I would start to accept a compliment. And that, for those of you who don't like the way you look, 
you will know is really, really hard to do. It's still hard now sometimes when people offer a compliment, but I used to do what a lot of you will do is somebody would offer me a compliment, oh, your hair looks nice, and I would go, oh, it's just washed, it's minging, it's awful, it needs cut, it's, it's, and I would say a million things that was wrong with me. Then I decided that I would just say thank you. Thank you, that's nice. And I still say that now, if somebody offers me a compliment, I still say the same thing, thank you, that's nice. And sometimes inside, even now, I'm thinking, mm, it's not, my hair's a bit of a mess. But I don't say that to the other person and I don't vocalize that. Because if you vocalize that, that is you cementing that as your opinion. It's you calling yourself names. You also then make the other person feel rubbish for giving the compliment and a bit awkward. Whereas if you just say, oh, thank you, that's kind. The other person feels good for giving you the compliment. At some level, you will go away and you will feel good about that compliment and think, actually, that person did give me a compliment. That was nice. And you'll feel pretty good about that. And you haven't called yourself names. You've just said thank you. And then you can move on and everybody feels good about that compliment. So that was my first one. My second thing that I did was I stopped focusing on the things that I hated. So I would... Every time that voice would come up in my head and I would want to call myself names, I would distract myself or I'd think of something that I did like about myself, anything, even if it was the most minute thing. Okay, so I like um, my left elbow, I don't know, whatever, you know, whatever I felt good about that day, I would, um, I would mention that and I would say that to myself. And I did affirmations. And affirmations are positive sentences that you say in the present tense. And I, I didn't really know the name for them then. I didn't know what they were. I didn't know that was a thing that is done in positive mindset circles. But I knew that if I said things enough, maybe I would start to believe it. And so in, I could never have said, you look beautiful. That just would never have been, I'd have vomited. I'd have just not been able to say it. And my brain would have went, no, you don't. And I wouldn't have been able to believe it. And the point of affirmations is you have to get them to a point where you start to believe them. And at that stage, I wouldn't have. So I could just about in those early stages say, you look okay. You look okay. And like, that was about it. That was my starting point. And what I did was I aimed to get to, you look good sometimes. <laughs> you look good today. And I would get to about there. And eventually I moved that to where I am today, which is, you look good. Like, I, I like the way I look. And I would just never, I mean, if I could talk to Holly of when she was 15 and go, you're gonna love those things. I, I mean, I was obsessed with things like my, my high cheekbones, okay? I thought they were awful and they looked pointy and awful and they looked like I'd been punched. Whereas now, it's something that people go, oh, you've got lovely, um, nice high cheekbones. Whereas at the time, I would have hated it. Hated it. My skinny ankles, I'm quite pleased about now, you know? So if you're watching this and you hate the way that you look right now, First of all, don't rush into thinking you've got to have all these surgeries. I am so glad that I didn't have a boob job. I'm so glad. I like my boobs now. I actually wouldn't want big boobs now. It just wouldn't suit me. And I'm really thankful that I didn't get that because it would certainly have, especially in the acting world, it would have put me in a certain bracket in the way that I was perceived. And I, I, don't, I don't want that. And I'm just glad that I didn't. And I see so many young girls now, it being such the norm to go and get lip fillers and plastic surgery. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm not saying that that's not the right path for you at all. But what I'm saying is, just wait till you're an adult. Wait till you're really, uh, and I'm not talking like an 18 year old adult or even a 21 year old adult. I'm talking like, just have a moment because even in those early 20s, you're still shaping your opinions. You're still learning about yourself. I really do know this now. And you might do something that you will regret. You don't have to look like everybody else. There's this thing now where everybody's got the same face, the same surgeon, and it's not attractive. And it's kind of papering over cracks. If somebody said to me, right, I want to have my ears pinned back. I don't like my ears, they stick out. Once I've had that done, I feel great about myself and they got that done or a nose job or whatever it is. And it's like one thing in one area and they get it done. They think once I've done that, I'm cool with myself. It's just this one thing. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. If it makes you feel good, then do it. But 
if it is a never ending pit that you will never suffice, then you have to work on the inside out. And I will bang on about this all of the time, but whatever you feel about yourself, it starts from within. The outside stuff, it's fun. I love makeup, I like having my hair done. You're still probably not gonna see me wandering around with no makeup and my hair not done. I don't hate myself without makeup on now and, and I'm really happy with who I am regardless. And, but it's just fun, it's just fun. And I say to my daughters, you know, when mum puts makeup on, I'm like a clown. Sometimes I actually do look like a clown, but that's true. Um, but I say to them, it's just fun, it's good fun. I don't hate my face. And they do get to see me without makeup on sometimes as well. And, and I just remind them that it's, you know, you should love yourself from the inside out as well as loving your out. You should love how, how you look as well, but sometimes it takes a little bit of work. But practice, accept compliments, start to tell yourself you look good, even if you just have to start with, I'm okay, and focus on the things that you love about yourself, not the things that you don't. And don't tell me there's nothing. I know sometimes it feels like that when you're in the depths of that, but there's something, whatever it is, there's something, even if it's a freckle on one of your arms, love that freckle full out and i promise you you will start to th see more things to love about yourself give it a shot post your comments below and we will talk about body image some more as well see you soon take me out to california take me out to california i feel the day